Welcome to the first course of the machine learning specialization. I'm your instructor, Eric Siegel. Machine learning isn't science fiction. You have 20 seconds to state your purpose. In 20 seconds, here's why machine learning is important. Business needs prediction. Prediction requires machine learning, and machine learning depends on data. Putting that in reverse, we have data, we give it to machine learning, it makes models that predict, and we use the predictions to improve all the main stuff we do, all the large scale operations of organizations that make the world go round. In this video, I'll run through these five concepts to show you how learning from data to predict revolutionizes business. And I'll make the case that machine learning's the coolest and most interesting science, period. And then in the next video, I'll reveal why this specialization of three courses is a unique, effective way to get started with machine learning. Okay, here's the opportunity. The world's a remarkably inefficient, wasteful place. The organizations that treat and serve us as consumers constantly get it wrong. Most mail's junk mail. Institutions are blindsided by risky debtors and policyholders. Lots of fraud goes undetected. And yet, most of the transactions humans bother to audit are legit and don't actually need auditing. In healthcare research, we typically show that a treatment works in general, but we can't discern which patients would actually be left better off untreated. These are heavy costs that tax both you and I every day. If only there were some way to run things better, to do a better job making all these decisions to improve the effectiveness of the frontline operations that define a functional society. Well, I just happen to have a suggestion. Prediction as a capability is the holy grail for driving decisions such as whom to target for marketing, for investigation, or for protection from financial or medical risk. Now, perfect predictions, not possible, but even lousy predictions that are at least better than guessing often deliver a tremendous systematic benefit. Playing these numbers games better, tipping the odds even just a bit more in our favor, generates an enormous impact. And this is where the idea of learning comes in. It learns to predict, kind of like what people do. Drawing an analogy, an organization learns from its overall cumulative experience when its computer learns from its data. The data is a record of things that have happened, the aggregate experience. Advanced number crunching methods that discover patterns in the data are what we call machine learning. That learning process makes it possible to predict, to put odds on the behaviors and outcomes, such as whether a customer will click, buy, lie, or die. In fact, every important thing a person does can be valuable to predict, including consume, work, quit, vote, love, procreate, divorce, default on a credit payment, cheat, steal, or kill. The predictions from machine learning drive millions of decisions more effectively, determining whom to call, mail, approve, test, diagnose, warn, investigate, incarcerate, set up on a date, or medicate. Improving these many decisions even just a bit delivers a huge win. And predictions not the only capability, Computers also learn to identify objects in images, which is key for self-driving cars, smart manufacturing, medical image processing, and even Facebook's suggestions for tagging photos. And they learn to identify words within sound for speech recognition. These capabilities have made leaps and bounds in recent years, mostly due to a specific machine learning method called deep learning. So, by the way, machine learning lives at the center of artificial intelligence. And so this is very much an AI course, but AI really is just a nifty story, not a well-defined technology. Often when people say AI, they actually just mean machine learning. Anyway, the outlook for machine learning is better than ever because it's raining data. Every credit card transaction, Facebook post, medical diagnosis, car accident, and sales call is recorded. Data grows at an estimated 2.5 quintillion bytes per day. It's the most potent, unnatural resource. Today's totally historic advent of having data about everything and using data for everything is a profound game changer. Now, 
Data seems boring to some people. If so, I'd argue you're not geeky enough. I'll change your mind by showing you that data is not arcane. After all, it's actually a long list of things that have happened. And I'll show you that the discoveries from data make actual sense, like sometimes even in the form of an if-then business rule. And besides, it's freaking cool. When you unleash the power of data in this way, you're making the ultimate use of these amazing general purpose machines that we know as computers, using them for the most all-encompassing of tasks, which is getting better at tasks, that is, learning. The algorithms to do this take on the most transcendental kind of scientific challenge to generalize from examples and discern truths that hold in the world. And beyond a field of science, Machine learning is a movement that's exerting a forceful impact. It reinvents industries and runs the world. It's come of age as a pervasive business practice necessary to thrive and even just survive. Companies, governments, law enforcement, and hospitals seize upon this power to boost sales, cut costs, combat risk, prevent fraud, fortify healthcare, streamline manufacturing, conquer spam, toughen crime fighting, and win elections. Your team needs it, your boss demands it, and your career loves machine learning. After all, it's consistently ranked as a top in-demand skill, and LinkedIn places it as the very top emerging job in the US. Coursera co-founder Andrew Ng calls machine learning the new electricity, and the Harvard Business Review calls it the most important general purpose technology of our era. So I would like to hereby designate machine learning the most fascinating, promising, and exciting branch of science and technology, period. It's the coolest. Okay, better go. Beam me up. <laughs>